Well, tonight, two meetings in Columbus with major implications, changes to food carts and a possible ban on flavored tobacco. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight at 11. Everybody, I'm Yolanda Harris and I'm Andrew Kinsey. We have team coverage tonight in TV's Richard Solomon and Olivia Eugenio covering both meetings for us. We start with Richard, who covered the food cart meeting. Richard. Yolanda Andrew City Council members say tonight's hearing was just to listen. They didn't make any decisions. While some say tighter restrictions on food vendors is needed, others fear it could take away a huge part of nightlife. The best way to learn is to listen. I think they are a little bit of a nuisance. And understand what people are saying. A city without street meat isn't a safer street. For close to an hour, one by one, they talked. Long noisy lines form. People then sit on the sidewalk or in the flower beds to eat, many leaving greasy food and trash. And they listened. The chambers of Columbus City Council held a hearing for two proposals that some feel would change nightlife in the city. What took center stage was the mobile food vendor proposal. It would shorten the hours of operation from 3 a.m. to 2 a.m., as well as restrict where carts can set up. Adam Wallace owns several food carts that set up in the short north. He says cutting down that one hour alone could impact his sales by 80 percent. Street vendors themselves are often not the source. On the contrary, conscientious vendors work hard to keep their stalls clean and preserve and provide eyes and ears to help deter crime in the streets. The proposal comes after several crimes happened into the short north this past summer including fatal shootings. Columbus Police Sergeant Joseph Kermode coordinates the Short North Crime Interdictions Program. He says they've seen a lot of violent crime happen near the vendors because it's a popular place people gather once they leave the bar. He says too many times they've dealt with vendors that haven't closed down at 3 a.m. But vendors that block the sidewalk are too close to exits of bars or blocking crosswalks making people that are waiting in line stand in the street and get hit by cars. So they're not being targeted or attacked. These are safety concerns for the community that we've had to address. Others say noise is an issue too, saying bars and loud music can disrupt peace. Many voices were heard, hoping their suggestions will be taken into consideration. Please don't change the legislation to make it harder for us to thrive. Now the next hearing for the noise and mobile food vendors proposal is tentatively set for December 6th.